Hello friends, welcome back. My name is Priyendra Kumar. This is the chapter 4 in Power Query tutorial series. In this video, you will learn how we can create the pivot table using this data. So here in this data, we have John, employee name, date and different five products and their number of sales. Here you can see the total for the employee for the dates is available here and the total of the zone also available here. You can see here there are multiple blanks available. If we will create the pivot table then it will show the blanks if we will put zone in filters. So first what we will have to do we will have to transform this data. We will use the power query to transform this data. So what I will do I will select the entire data and I'll create a table press ctrl L to convert it into table and just click on OK. So now it has been converted into table. You can remove the filters if you want. Now we will load this data into power query. So just go to the power query tab. If this power query tab is not available in your excel then in the first part of this series I have explained how to install the Power Query for Excel 2010 and Excel 2013. Please watch that video to install the Power Query. If you are using Excel 2016, then you don't need to install the Power Query add-in. You can use it from Data tab. Now here I am using Excel 2013. So I will click anywhere on this table and just click on from table slash range. And now this data will be loaded into Power Query. The table name was table 1. You can see here. If you want to change this query name, you can take as sales data, let's say. Now here we will transform this data. First of all, what I will do, I'll remove the blanks from the date. So you can see the blanks are coming in total. So we will remove this total. Either we can remove it from the employee name and we can remove the total or we can simply remove blanks from the date. So what I will do, I will open this filter and here you can see the option available remove empty. You can click on this then empty cells will be removed or what you can do, you can remove it from employee name also. You can just uncheck the total and then it will be removed but I have removed it from date column. Now here we need to fill the same east in each blank cell until the next zone is coming. To fill down the similar data we will use the fill functionality of power query. So I will go to the transform and here in any column first of all I need to select this column. So I have selected this column then I will go to the fill and here two options available one is fill down and fill up so I will use fill down you can see the east is available until the next zone will come which is west so as soon as the best zone come it will repeat now west zone now here the data type of this column is date and time we need this as only date because time is not available here so what I will do, I will select this, go to the any column in transform and will change the data type and I will take it as date. Now here if you want to take the month also, you can simply select this, make a duplicate column of this. So go to the add column, make a duplicate of this and now select this, go to the date and then month and take the name of month. So you can see another column is added for name of month. If you want to take the year also, go to the year, take the year. So year column is also added. Now we don't need the support column. We can remove this column. So we will go to the home and remove this column. And now we can move this column after the date. To move the column from here to here, either you can simply pick this column and just move here or you can use the move option to move the column you can go to the transform use this move and we want to move it to the left side so it will be moved once again or you can move directly to the beginning to the end let's say i want to move it to the beginning 
so here is available on the first now what we will do we will unpivot these product names column to unpivot this either we can select these column but in future more column can be added here the product name so what we will do we will select these columns and apart from these columns, whatever the columns are available here we will unpivot those columns so we will go to the transform and then unpivot column here we will select unpivot other columns you can see here this is the product name available here so we will rename it as product name and for value we will rename it sales now we will go to the home and will close and load to here we will choose only create connection click on load so the sales data connection is created now add a new worksheet here and go to the insert pivot table here just choose this option which is use an external data source click on this click on choose connection now here select this sales data query click on open click on ok so this pivot table is created now you can close this workbook queries window now here you can see the multiple fields are available now we can put john in our filter and then we can put the product name here we can put the sales sum of sales here for each product it is available if you want to see it john wise then you can put the john columns you can put the month name in the filter and the year name in the filter and you can change the design whatever you want to take go to the view remove the grid lines so we have created a summarized pivot table using this data if you want to see the data for let's say jan month so it is for the jan month so that is how you can create a report using the power query you can transform your data as per your requirement and then you can load it to the pivot table i hope you have enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching